Hello, my name is Monica Velasquez. I'm the Digital Specialist for HAPA Global. Welcome to our North America Digital Channel for USA and Canada. Today, I'm just going to show you how to create a new booking on our website. Let's go to the website so you can see how easy it is to create a booking. Once you log in into the website, you can either select the Home tab or the Online Business Suite, click on Book, and select New Booking. Once this page opens up, you can see all the tabs that you need to complete to successfully submit your booking to Hapag Lloyd. The first thing that you need to do is add your reference number. In this case, we're just going to tap the information and click Next. On the next page is where you can add your quotation or your contract. Please keep in mind that you're sending a contract, have the MR or the affiliate party for your contract handy as this is a mandatory field. In this the quotation and click find. In this page, you can see all the routings that are available for your quotation along with the container numbers. Since we only have one, we're just gonna select for routing and then we're gonna select lookup schedule. In this page, you're gonna see all the available vessels for your routing by estimated time of departure. It automatically defaults to the first one. If that's not the one that you need, you can select the one that you're using and click routing details. This will update the bottom part of the page with the correct vessel information. The routing details are shown below here. As you can see, the routing is gonna be from Atlanta Rail, departing the rail on 220, departing the terminal of Savannah on 225 on the Missouri Express and arriving into Hamburg on 313. If you need to see additional cutoff times, just select the terminal and click on terminal details. Now you can click on the origin details. If you scroll down, you're gonna see the BGM cutoff, the date that the container needs to be returned to the terminal, cutoff for refers, DG or OOG. If you're satisfied with that information, you can just go back and now we can select for booking. This is just the review, so you can go ahead and click next. This is gonna take us to the cargo and equipment tab. Here you can select the amount of containers that you need and the container type. Please keep in mind that you can select up to four different type of containers, up to 10 containers each, or one type of container up to 250 containers. In this example, we're just gonna use one. We're gonna drop down the menu and we're gonna select the 40 high queue. If you are submitting a booking for a shipper on container, you can update it here as it automatically defaults to Hapagloid container. For the empty container release, we're just gonna select the 13 and we're gonna add the description. In this case, it's gonna be toys and we click on assign details. And now we just need to enter the cargo weight. We are going to select 1800 and it's going to be kilograms. Once you type that information, then you can click next. This is going to take us to the customs and remarks tab. You just select the one in the middle that says ITN needed. All it means is that somebody else is going to file the AES or the ITN for you. There is an additional spot here where you can add any information that you need to submit to Hapag Lloyd or to your trucking company. You also can specify who the shipper and the consignee address is gonna be. Once you've finished with that information, then you can click next. This is gonna take you to the review and complete tabs. You can check everything that you had submitted for this booking. If you need to change at this point any of the information, for example, the vessel, you can select the edit schedule tab. But if you are satisfied with the information that you have entered, you just go ahead and submit book. As you can see, it was very easy to submit bookings on our website. If you would like to create refrigerator bookings, out of cage bookings, or DG bookings, I'm just going to drop the link in the description box. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe as we will be releasing more content regarding our digital tools in the future.